My Iwagumi's coming in really nice. This dwarf hair grass is two weeks old. It's been trimmed once. And this is very significant right here. Uh, you can see two blades that are coming up closer from one of these here. Awesome. I wanted to show you my mistake with this Iwagumi, the hugest mistake I made. One of, before I, make, I go to my mistakes, let me tell you a couple of the things that I done right. Now, one of the things that I done right is how you can see fish right there and ground all behind them. I layered it. I stacked up the back as high as I possibly could. And I tried to on this side. It was supposed to look like it went up and down into a valley and back up. But the the sand, it settled a little bit more than I wanted it to. So, But that's still one thing that I done right. I piled that up just really high so you can see the uh, the fish and there's ground behind them. It's gonna look wonderful when this two week old dwarf hair grass just added CO2, the DIY bottle that, that you make your own with uh, the citric acid and the uh, baking soda in there. So that's one thing that I done right. The other thing that I done right is that it there are seven, so there's three six, seven rocks, so it's an odd number, wanted an odd number. That was good. The other thing that I done right was I made this represent my family. It's got a representation of it. This big one is me, my son, he's 14, but he's getting to be a big boy, and that represents him. The little one represents my two-year-old baby, the other one represents my nine-year-old son. That represents my wife. That represents my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter, who is uh, 10, 11. So that that's a representation. But what I done wrong that I wish that I would have done right was you see that you can't see it right now, but there is a really nice texture on this rock. I mean, there's just a... Um, I'm looking for a flashlight here, but there's a really nice texture on it. It just looks like a, the side of a mountain or something. So we can get it going here. You can sort of see it there, but it's got a, a really good texture on this rock. And But what I done wrong is because that texture was there, I said, dude, I want everybody to see that. So it's flat. It's completely vertical with this glass. The Iwagumi shouldn't ever be completely vertical. They should always have a slight turn. This would look a lot better if it was just turned slightly this way with that point right there instead of it going straight just slightly be turned that way. And I've done the same thing with this one here. But I was excited. I had my rocks. I had this this 75-gallon tank, and I was trying to get it done. But this rock, the face of it is completely vertical with the glass, and it should also be either turned this way or I would say turn it this way since this one is sort of pointing that way so you want them you want everything you just see how this one here instead of it the the face is right there and it's it's turned a little bit so maybe this one should have been turned that way some but it's a mistake i made and since i've got i uh, i put a a soil down i know you can't see it sorry for the lighting but there's sand a bunch of sand that came out of my yard and then there is some potting soil, a layer of it, and then a layer of pool, pool sand. So I laid these rocks down on top of the potting soil, and then I poured a lot of pool sand down. So they look like they're submerged, and they really are in sand. They're just coming up out of the sand. So once I put them, the sand in and I looked at it, I wasn't going to move them after that. I wasn't going to mess anything up. Those are two of the mistakes that I made with this. I guess there's a, there's not really any more that I can think of because everything looks pretty good, except for the fact that I might have piled this side up just as high 
as I did this side to give it a more of a valley in the middle because that's one thing that you want when you're doing uh, you, when you're doing aquascaping is you want sort of a V shape and that would have made more of a V shape anyway I, it's mine and it's in a 75 gallon tank and I've got a lot of money I've got a lot of time invested in it already so I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to look awesome whenever all the grass comes in. And I wanted to share this mistake. It seems like there was two mistakes. There was another one that I wanted to share with you, a major one. But I can't remember what it is. But don't don't make that mistake whenever you're making your Iwagumi setup. The beauty about the Iwagumi setup is people come in and they look at this and they're like, Man, look at all them plants and fish and sticks and sand and the the rocks and look at all that and it's just stuff everywhere to look at but then when you see this and it's like plain and simple and calming and relaxing and then i got that one over there i don't know if you can see it but it's a black water tank and it's full of leaves and a big old driftwood thing i'll do a video on that later so subscribe if you want to see future videos I love y'all and appreciate you. Don't make my mistake and have a great day. God bless.